And so uh, I see you're, you're using uh, zeolites as a as a medium in here, and then I notice well, actually using soil in there. I'm going beyond what everybody else is telling me I can do. Well, they're they're uh, what they're called. That's a hydroton. This is the bag it comes in. Mm -hmm. There's its spelling. Right. Yeah, it's an expanded clay. It's expanded clay. Right. Right. And and I've used it for many years, and it works pretty well. Uh, and I've never replaced any. I've used, been able to use it right up. And uh, then I started putting this dirt in the middle of it, and that really changed things. So that you started your seedling, in other words, in the yeah. in the in the soil. And when you say dirt, that's a rather generic term. I'm assuming this is a, this is a potting medium. Yeah, it's a potting soil. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. regular potting soil. Excuse me, I'm working on like the like that fox farm down there under the bed. Yeah, that's, that that's what I use. I have a question. Then you've insulated your uh, uh, your your buckets over here. Is that to keep the uh, the the medium and the solution cooler? That's correct. What happens when you keep it cooler? Well, they don't overheat and it doesn't evaporate. Other than that, I can't come up with any answers. And when it gets warm, it takes all the oxygen out of the air. Uh, out of the water. Out of the water. Excuse me. Out yeah. of the water. Yeah, yeah. And okay. uh, that's why. What and, kind of... And the other thing is, is that it runs 10 degrees cooler than outside and I haven't put any refrigeration on it. Uh. You know, totally natural. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. what, what kind of string bean are you using? Uh, this is a pole bean that I'm using. It's the first time I've... I've used a pole bean uh -huh. in, in a hydroponic. This is actually designed for cucumbers. And uh, uh, what, I, what I really have here is two different systems, but they're both the same, if that makes any sense. Right there where those two tanks are, it splits. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And you've got tomatoes on one side, and, and supposedly cucumbers on this side, but I wanted to try a, a bean. It's uh, only been here uh, you know, about three and a half days. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, so. The air pump over here runs to this series of uh, quarter inch lines. The quarter inch lines come right on in here, push air inside the tank that displaces the liquid so then it is drawn up through these here and that's coming out of the big tank here into this tank over here which just creates a level and then it feeds into each individual tank from the tubes below. Cool. But I mean, you know, it, it water sticks its balance, so it just balances out. You know? Zoop. Harvested. Yeah. Zoom. Planted. Done. Uh, the other thing is if the power goes out, I won't have any problem. It'll, it'll continue to work. When you uh, say it'll continue to work, does it just well, operate a siphon then at that point? No, it's just the water levels is high. Just so stays it there. And, and, and I can very easily manually you know, fill it if I have to. I see. And, and and or uh, all of this can run on solar. And I don't have it hooked up to solar yet, but I will. And so and, but this, this is truly my my favorite. It's the least amount of work, and and pretty productive for not doing any work. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to change it here. I'm going to go all 20 feet here that you see, and I'm going to make an A-frame. I'm going to have a 10, 20 foot, four inch PVC pipe all hooked up the same way, only 10 of them instead of three. So this is four inch PVC footprint. here, yep. and you're feeding with what's this inch and a half? Right, I'm feeding the other direction. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter what you feed it with, just as long as, I mean, you can th feed it with three quarters if you want. Mm -hmm. You can feed it with four inch if you want, doesn't matter. <laughs> and so that's your reservoir yep. right there. And I've buried it slightly. That's a regular trash can, so. Okay. and. The then, so th this has a pump in it somewhere. How does yeah, this it's, pump up? It's, it's just internal. A strictly a submerged sump pump. Submersible. And, it, and it's a half a half a horsepower. It's way too much. Yeah, yeah, sure. And it sure. just simply fills this thing up every every hour. You know, it just fills all the things up. So it's basically an ebb and flow, not because of beauty. Uh -huh. and, and not that I have any intention to have anything but my fish die naturally. Yeah. Uh, Take this out and put in a king siphon here. And what that means is uh, a king siphon is, I'll have a fish tank out there and, and, and I'll have a pump that runs into here 24-7. And what happens is that 
you remember this is all black cinder except for a little place right here where I'll protect this and then I'll have a king siphon and I'll just protect it with something to keep the the, the dirt the gravel the uh, black cinder out and it basically what's a, it becomes a sump and and uh, you know that piece of plastic will just sit like this and then my king siphon will sit in the middle of it and the rest of it will be uh, um, cinder black cinder and then there's a pipe within a pipe and as the water fills up the, the inner part fills up and as soon as it fills up it kicks it up and the whole tank drains uh, of course it'll I'm figuring about 150 gallon because I'll have the rest of the